Well, greetings, folks. We are coming to you again with another session of Pure Worship. Call someone, share the link, leave a comment, or subscribe to a channel, even like, so that we can worship the Lord together in the beauty of holiness. Amen. He is exalted. The King is exalted on high. Let's worship the Lord. Well, bow down and 
Psalms chapter 24, Hallelujah. verse 8 to 10. The question was asked, Who is this King of glory? And the answer was given, The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. And then the psalmist instructs, Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift up your heads and you ancient doors, that the King of glory might come in. And then the answer was asked and given again. Who is the King of glory? 
the Lord Almighty. He is the King of glory. Psalms 24 is a song about the glory of God. But who is this King of glory? And David asks the question and answer with a resounding declaration about God's strength, about God's might. Also in Psalms 96, likewise, describes the strength as an aspect of God's glory. However, the list goes on to include his marvelous deeds in verse 3, his majesty in verse 6, his holiness in verse 9, his righteousness and his faithfulness in verse 13. All his days, David sought to bring honor to the Lord, something believers still long to do today. And if we can catch David's vision of the Lord as the King of glory, we too will find a new sense of awe and delight in lifting up the a worship unto him it will be more than just obedience it will be a celebration when Moses asked to see God's glory in Exodus chapter 33 verse 18 to 20 God said that he would allow his goodness to pass before him Moses said I beseech thee show me thy glory and God said I will make all my goodness pass before thee and I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee and will be gracious to whom I will be gracious and I will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. The point is just the sampling of these texts about God's glory confirms that it is the sum of every amazing attribute God possesses and every perfect action he does. All of these things comprise its weight, its essence, its brightness and its light, God's glory. His glory is further revealed in the world, in the person of Jesus the Christ. He claimed to possess this glory when he prayed in John chapter 17 and verse 5. He said, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. John likewise attests to Christ's glory when he wrote, The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth in John chapter 1 and verse 14. David calling God the King of Glory was a re recognition of his perfect holiness. He was, he, he is, and he will always be higher than any other living thing in the world, uh, anything that we could imagine. In the New Testament, Jesus was given the name Lord of Glory. He, the, the, the writers believe that the Old Testament prophecies about Jesus was true, that he was Emmanuel, he was God with us, and therefore he both bore and reflect God's glory. Matthew describes Jesus' glory in the account of, uh, of the transfiguration in Matthew chapter 17 and verse 2, saying, Jesus' face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. And Peter wrote in 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 16 to 18, he, he said, We were eyewitnesses of Jesus' majesty. He received honor and glory from God the Father. When the voice came to him from the majestic glory, saying, This is is my son whom I love with him I am well pleased Peter said we ourselves heard this voice and came that that came from heaven when we were with him on this sacred mountain in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 8 tells us Jesus is the Lord of glory and and since he is continually being revealed to the church through scriptures and by the Holy Spirit Christians have the tremendous privilege of seeking the very glory of God the face of Jesus Christ amen Paul declares in 2 Corinthians 4 and 16 for God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness had shine in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And furthermore, God's people were made to reflect his glory to the world. And as we grow in our relationship with Christ, there should be a certain radiance about the people of God who claim to know him. For as Paul says, they are being transformed into his image with everlasting and ever increasing glory which comes from the Lord who is the spirit in 2nd Corinthians 3 and verse 18. 
Jesus as the King of glory over all eternity. He can do what no man made thought, man made idea, or man made invention could ever do. Jesus died and he rose again to rescue us and bring our soul to life. He is a mighty King who is on a mission to push back the darkness and to breathe life into the hearts of his people all over this world. And as his followers, we want to fix our eyes on Jesus. We want to raise our sense of expectation because our king is great and he is on the throne. He is on the move and we will become like the one who we behold and reflect his glory to this world. So wherever you are today, look up because Jesus, the king of glory, and he has come for you. He alone can rescue you and bring peace to your soul. He is on a mission to rescue the world and he wants to invite you to be part of this mission. And as the lyrics of this song puts it, one day the world will bow down and say he is God. Every man will bow down and say he is king. So let's start right now. Why would you wait? We can praise him now in victory. Glory to God. Join us and sing King of Glory. King of presence of our king we want to be in his presence just giving him glory Amen. all yes. every day every moment mm -hmm. every time every opportunity we get to bless his name Amen. jesus the king of Amen. glory come on and every praise belong to our god yes no matter what you're feeling praise the lord let's give him praise amen he's our savior our healer, and our deliverer that's who he is hallelujah Happy praises to our God. Come on, put your hands together. And let's bless his name. Hallelujah. 
Jesus. They want a God. Every many, praise many, is many. due to our God. Amen. Glory Say thy God to God. praise the Lord. Jesus. Every opportunity, every chance you get, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He is exalted. Amen. He is king on high. And he is king of glory. Amen. And give him every praise. Amen. God, God bless God. you. Have yourself a good week. Until Amen. next time. God bless you.